Hi, Alex Williams of the New Stack here in San Mateo, California, with Karthik Rao, CEO and founder of Signal FX. Good to see you, Karthik. Yeah, hi, Alex. Nice to see you too. Karthik, today you're going to show us how Signal FX uses analytics for monitoring of distributed environments. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Signal FX is a SaaS based monitoring service uh, that was really designed from the ground up to support modern distributed applications. Uh, our thesis is that monitoring has become more and more of an analytics problem. Uh, when you look at modern applications, they typically tend to be distributed applications. Uh, many of them have microservices architectures uh, with lots of containers or VMs. And uh, we find it quite common uh, to, to see services that have dozens, hundreds, or even potentially thousands of, of components. And in order to understand what's happening across these distributed environments, you really need a more centralized analytics-based approach to identify patterns and trends uh, versus just looking at when an individual device or component fails. Um, we at SignalFX have, have really designed and optimized for these distributed environments. And uh, there are a few things that we do quite differently, we think, than, than the solutions that exist in the marketplace. Um, the first is we have a streaming analytics-based approach. Uh, so we allow you to build interactive analytics pipelines uh, on uh, potentially tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of time series uh, as they're coming in. And so you get as close to a real-time view as possible of the events that are occurring in your application as they are occurring. Um, the second thing is we have a very sophisticated analytics layer that can um, allow you to perform analytics on different dimensions. And so if you've got information that identifies regions or customer categories with all of this metric data, you can slice in real time and get a sense of uh, you know, whether a problem is isolated to a particular group of users or regions, as an example. Uh, and we also store all of this data historically, so you can compare all of the incoming data against your historical patterns, and really start to ask questions like, is this trend normal for a Sunday morning at 6 a.m., or is it abnormal? And that really becomes a lot more what people care about in these environments. Um, so that's kind of, in a nutshell, some of the things that we do differently. I can switch over now and, and uh, give a quick demo to highlight some of these uh, some of these use cases. Now what you're seeing here, this is a, a signal effects demo dashboard, and this is fairly representative of the kind of data that a lot of our customers like to send in. Uh, customers typically send in data across the entire stack. So you might have application metrics, like how many transactions have you know, we processed in the past day, how many API calls have we done, uh, maybe a customer role instrument latency metrics so that you can compare number of requests against latency, and it's really up to the customer what data they want to send in. It's very easy to instrument metrics. Uh, we support uh, off-the-shelf instrumentation libraries that a lot of people use, like StatsD e and Yammer mm -hmm. metrics, are compatible with a lot of existing uh, open source collection agents. So it's very easy to get data into signal effects. And most of our customers essentially move in the model of, let's just instrument as many metrics as we think might be relevant, and then submit it into signal effects, and then use signal effects to really start interpreting that data. So you're essentially, you'll be just essentially use your APIs and to pull That's the right. data. It's a simple API call, and uh, you send the data in, and you don't have to worry about the plumbing and the infrastructure to build out an analytics service. You just send us your data, and then you use our service to really start interpreting the data. Um, so let me just kind of click in and, and, and give you an example of, uh, let's, let's say you know we have a service that has uh, dozens of components uh, split across a bunch of different regions. And we want to track how long it's taking to uh, process an API request across that service. And so that's the, the metric that we have plotted here. Um, now, maybe there are a bunch of other things that you also want to track. Uh, you want to know how long it's taking to process a request, but you also want to know how that changes based on a customer name or on a region or whether it was a submitted by an iOS client or an Android client. Uh, there may be any number of additional dimensions that you want to track. And so you can configure your metrics so that you uh, provide all of those different permutations of, of dimensions that might be relevant to you. And now what you're seeing here is all of those are being plotted, but once it's in signal effects, you can start to filter and aggregate on any of these in a very easy and intuitive way. So you can start to see comparisons. Yeah, so let's say you know we're not interested in, you know maybe we just want to look at overall latency, so we'll do a percentile here and say, let's do a 95th percentile. So across the entire fleet of servers, uh, across multiple regions, what's the 95th percentile? So let's throw out the top 5% outliers, so just look at the 95p. And you can see that's what's plotted here, and that's again calculated instantaneously. But maybe you want to know the 95th percentile by customer. And so now you can just add in that dimension and you can see instantaneously 
for every customer, you can see what the 95th percentile is. Uh, but maybe you just want to see 95th percentile by customer for a particular region. So we can filter and say, well, let's just look at U.S. West. And now you're seeing the same calculation, but it's isolated to U.S. West. Uh, and so you can do all of these sorts of calculations on the fly very, very quickly. Now, it's important to keep in mind, this is all happening as we speak in the environment. So every second, we're reporting metrics into signal effects, and you're building all of these aggregations on the fly. Uh, and so it's, it's a very powerful way of getting immediate visibility into what's happening in the environment. Uh, and you can do multiple aggregations. So let's say we want to look at uh, you know, by customer and by region. And again, it's all essentially calculated uh, on the fly. Um, now this is, we'll, we'll say this, but this concept uh, carries over whether you're looking at application metrics or whether you're looking at infrastructure metrics or basically any metrics you might care about. You know, so for example, I can toggle over here to an infrastructure dashboard that's showing aggregations for things like a max CPU utilization, a 98 percentile, and a median across an entire fleet. But I can start to filter down, maybe I want to look at just a particular instance type. So we'll say we'll look at instance type, C star, so we'll look at all C category uh, machines. And this again gets automatically recalculated, and you can see all of these metrics just kind of re-render on the fly. Um, and so this ability to basically take an aggregate view of your entire environment and then very quickly drill down based on dimension is, is something that's enabled in a very powerful way with signal effects. And we're not even getting into all of the benefits of alerting with this because once you have these aggregate signals, you can set alerts on the aggregate metric, like a 98th percentile or a growth rate, rather than looking at sort of each individual component. So this becomes increasingly necessary as companies are deploying more apps. Yes, absolutely. When you've got a lot of microservices in particular, where each service might have three or four upstream dependencies and maybe several more downstream dependencies, uh, and each service might have 10, 20, 30, 40 different components, you really need to be able to look at an aggregate view and to be able to correlate metrics from, from across different services. Yeah. Well, great. So that's that's uh, quite scanned. There was a lot more to the product, but uh, if anyone's interested, it's uh, very easy to try the product out uh, on signalfx.com. Well, Karthik, thank you very much for uh, taking some time to uh, show us the product, and uh, I look forward to keeping in touch about what SignalFX uh, uh, does over the next uh, se several months and years, and best of luck to you. Thank you, Alex.